Super Nighthawk 28 commented, I'm wondering if you have by any chance compared the Google Pixel with the Sony ZV E10 with regards to overhead uh, filming like for an uh, unboxing something with this that's a top down. If so, which one is better? Okay, so let's take a look. First, let me just zoom out so you can kind of see uh, right off this edge here. I've got a uh, little overhead thing that I would use for um, any kind of instructional or any kind of showcase. I've done a couple of videos like that here. So if you want to do something like that, um, first, you're going to need um, a little cell phone kind of holder, right? You mount your cell phone on it. Boom. All right. Let's zoom out again. And then you would just simply you might be wondering why not just use the rear camera, uh, which would make total sense. However, um, you will not be able to see what's happening. So if we flip this around, so let's loosen that up again, right? And we use the top, um, the better camera that's on the cell phone. Um, that's great. Now, unless you've got a mirror uh, up on your ceiling, you're not gonna know what's happening. So for this reason, I would not recommend using a cell phone for overhead. Can you? Yes, you absolutely can. If you got no other option, you know what's going to look like. You peek over or maybe you do a sit down thing where you can stand up, look at it, frame it up and then and then do your thing. Sure. For those situations. Um, in my case, I like to do all my work um, standing and you're going to need about this much space to get the appropriate framing. And so for that reason, uh, I actually recommend uh, using the Sony or any kind of camera that has uh, any kind of articulation, right? So in this case, we've got the uh, Sony ZV-E10. Um, the screen kind of does its own uh, flip screen thing, as you can see here. But just make sure that the lens that you mount on it, like this is a rather heavy lens. So um, you wouldn't want to put this on there. Otherwise it's just gonna you know, end up uh, getting wonky. So if you happen to have the kit lens, once you've got your kit lens attached, then go ahead and mount that on the top here, tighten everything down. And now you'll be able to see precisely uh, what's on screen. So if I turn this on, this thing actually has um, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, there you go. Just right off the edge of the screen. Um, you can see that uh, there is an overhead thing. And so if you need to do any adjustments to the framing, um, then you can without um, too much issue. Now, in the case of like, well, I don't want the camera in the shot. That's where it helps to have a uh, bit of a zoom. Um, and if you want, you can adjust the height of the um, whole setup. And now you've got a setup that's uh, relatively clean, top down. You're not, uh, it's not in the frame, but there you go. If you want to shoot with two cameras, like I'm doing here, I'm, you know, I've got a talking headpiece mounted to the desk, and then I've got an overhead piece for any kind of instructional. If you don't have the choice, obviously, then yeah, use your phone if you need to. Um, I would suggest not being in a standard position or standing position, uh, because if you're in a standing position, then you're not gonna be able to look up and see what it is, unless you get like a mirror or something. You can kind of frame up like looking like this, and then you're good to go. But other than that, it's always a good idea to have a um, genuine camera to be able to do that work. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll see you soon.